September 2022. Uh, this trip consists of a two day drive from New South Wales all the way up to Queensland, to the town of 1770. Uh, where we will launch our boats, being My O'Day Day Sailor and John Davies Core Sound 17. Uh, we'll leave the trailers there and then we will sail 33 nautical miles out to Lady Musgrave Island, which is the second island at the start of the Great Barrier Reef. It has an entrance into the lagoon, which we can get into easily at any tide. Uh, we'll stay there for probably a day or two and then sail across to Fairfax Island, which is another coral cay. Uh, we'll have to do that at high tide as there's no boat entrance to enter the lagoon. Uh, so only dinghies are able to, to do this sort of a trip. From there we'll stay a night and then probably head across to Hoskin Island, which again is the same deal, no boat entrance, entering at high tide only. Uh, we'll probably spend again another day before heading back to Round Hill again and then the long trip home. Uh, all together, including the driving, we're looking at about nine to ten days. Uh, so weather permitting, uh, we'll see how we go. This little cooking segments for Paul from Sailing Kate Louise. Uh, tonight we are having braised steak and onions from a can. We're having peas and carrots from a can and the famous dead potato, but not with onion. So what I'm going to do, Paul, is put the juice from the peas and carrots into the water to mix with the dead to see how that comes out. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see how that tastes in a minute. So here we have it, the dead potato made with the juice from the peas and carrots and some extra water. And it tastes really good. That with the braised steak and onion, that'll be dinner. And not a bad backdrop to eat it in. evening it's around six o'clock and we're planning on getting up at four in the morning and leaving at five o'clock for Lady Musgrave. Here we are 5 a.m. it's Sunday morning day four uh, we're just heading out from 1770 on first light, try and get there with a reasonable hour to get into the lagoon. Uh, not looking like a lot of breeze, but there's meant to be some. Okay, we just come out of 1770, heading for Musgrave. Sun's just rising. Not much breeze at the moment though, so we may end up motor sailing, so we've got to put some miles in. Beautiful conditions. We are doing three and a half knots at the moment so that's our minimum we need to maintain hopefully we'll pick up on that anyway it's a beautiful morning
Oh no. Just hit a spinnaker. Whoops. Breeze is a bit light, so we'll see if we can catch up a bit with this. That should get us going. Right. Still sailing with the spinny car. We've done about 10 miles and the breeze is sitting in at probably about eight knots at the moment. We're doing about five and a half. Um, yeah, still 22 miles to go. It's a beautiful sail. Just passed John a few minutes ago. He's a hard man to catch. Anyway, we'll uh, see if the breeze gets up too much more. I'll drop the spinnaker and just go back to two sails. And this is the midway report. We're about halfway there. Uh, 16 miles to go. Spinnaker's down. Um, the breeze picked up a little bit. It's about sort of, oh, maybe gusting to 10 at times. Um, it's beautiful conditions. I hooked a fish before the last that. I don't know what it was. Um, anyway, we're sailing together still. John's caught up. Now I've dropped that spinnaker and we're just cruising along together. Okay, we've got 11 miles to go. It's a perfect sailing. John having a stretch. Uh, we've got the Spirit of 1770 boat coming out to the Musgrave, so we must be on the right course. Um, you can just make out the mainland back there. Champagne sailing. is coming to view. It's about eight and a half miles away. Um, you probably can't see it. Stand up and see if you can see it just up ahead. Oh, it's been a beautiful sail now. We're still just ticking them together. Hey we've got about five miles to go. It's been an epic sail this last ten miles. We've been doing like between five and a half to seven knots pretty much most of the time. We're still together. And we should be there around lunchtime I think. We've got a humpback whale just off the off the beam here. It's laying on the surface. Lady Musgrave Island. <laughs> Look at that water colour. Just going to sail along and find the entrance into the lagoon. Check out this water. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all those boats. Can't believe how many boats are out here. Check this out, we're surfing along the edge of the reef. Woo! Okay, we're half 
been a motor into the pass because the wind's right on the nose coming out of the entrance and the, the tide's flowing out um, but yeah perfect weather good visibility you can see the tide race the tide's coming out through the entrance there really strong current so there was no way we were going to be able to sail against that anchored in the dinghy channel and seeing where dinghies were allowed to do that but um, we're gonna have to move out a bit later probably because there's too much coral around here anyway we've got the primo position and just gonna go and have a swim so we've just come and anchored over on the southeastern side of the lagoon Got the whole place to ourselves because everyone is all anchored over there in the main centre, like Pitt Street. Anyway, we've got a great posse in about six foot of water. Perfect. Okay, it's the fifth day of the trip, second day out on the reef. Today we're heading across to Fairfax Island. Which, if you can look on the chart here, is about five miles just to the northwest of Lady Musgrave. Okay, we're heading across to Fairfax Island. We're just going to motor it and go, it's almost high tide, so we're planning on just going straight across the reef here to get out of Musgrave and also across the reef into Fairfax as there's no passage for deeper draft of boats. One of the joys of dinghy cruising. Um, there's still quite a lot of boats here from last night. 
from yesterday. A few have left this morning. Uh, as most boats are heading south at this time of year. Uh, anyway, we'll update you in a few minutes. So we're just passing across the end of Lady Musgrave in close. Uh, yesterday, this was all dried out. So this morning there's about a metre of water over it and uh, here's someone who's coming in a dinghy from their yachts. It's the best time to land otherwise you've got to walk across coral. So we're just going to slip past the very end here of the island and then just head straight across to Fairfax. Approaching the reef to Fairfax, um, I've been motor sailing, it's been a little bit of, little bit of breeze, but it's not far to, to warrant getting all the sails up and pulling them down again to cross over the reef, so anyway we're just about there. over the reef here at high tide in a Fairfax Island so we're going to try and get up between the two islands there Check out this for beautiful. We're just heading around uh, the western side and we're going to try and find a spot where we can let the boats dry out on the low tide. A bit later, so it's about high tide now. That's back to Musgrave where we came from. Trying to see if we can find somewhere flat enough uh, to dry the boats out at low tide. Oh, you see me, there's a turtle. You probably can't see it, just over here, there he is. Put his head back under, and he's taking off. Look at him go. <laughs> we just got here, we're just anchored now in between the two Ks in Fairfax. Right on the edge of this deep channel, which is about eight meters deep in the middle. So our plan is that low tide, we'll just pull ourselves back out over the deep water but at low tide we can access the shore.
is the windward shoreline where you collect the rubbish. It's not too bad here. Bit of plastics and rubbish. Here we go, here's a good find of the beach combing. Little Halco Lua. I've got one the same, they're really good. Blazer Pro. So the tide's on the way out and we're anchored right on the edge here so we've got our stern anchors in and our anchors in the deep water so we can just keep edging and when it's low tide we'll still be afloat and virtually be just off this bank because it drops away at like a 30 degree angle underwater. the afternoon set up we've just moved from up around the point there back down into more of a shallow spot because um, we don't need to go ashore now and which will allow us not to be uh, banging into the shoreline and also our anchors were in too deep a water for how close we were to shore we would have had to pull they were on too steep an ankle to leave overnight so we've moved back down here um, at the moment we're just tied together for happy hour and uh, then once we've, we've finished talking um, we'll let go and John will move forward a bit and so we don't hit during the night. This is my camping setup. This is my gas stove. Everything gets taken out of the cabin and brought back, moved out of the way so I can set up my bed set up which is a yoga mat with a, one of these eggshell inflatable mattresses which works pretty well for me and then just a little fleecy fleecy sleeping bag and so it's musical bags around here every day you've got to move everything out so you can set up your bed anyway that's it for now